हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर नवीन अग्रवाल आई एम एक इंटरवेंशन कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट वलसाड एंड वापी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ गुजरात माय टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज डिस्कशन इज रिगार्डिंग इमरजेंसी और ऑन टेबल एंजियोप्लास्टी व्हाट आर द इंडिकेशंस व्हाट आर द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशंस वेदर द डॉक्टर्स आर एक्चुअली जस्टिफाइड इन आस्किंग यू टू डू ऑन टेबल एंजियोप्लास्टी टेक्निकली विच इज नोन एज एड हॉक एंजियोप्लास्टी विच मीन्स दैट आफ्टर इमिजिएटली आफ्टर इन एंजियोग्राफी वी स्ट्रेट अवे ऑन टेबल डू द एंजियोप्लास्टी ऑफ द पेशेंट so whether the doctor is justified in asking you uh, angioplasty what exactly is the advantages and disadvantage of the doc angioplasty and which are the conditions where exactly the doctor should actually tell you and you are also uh, obliged to do an doc angioplasty these are the things which will be going to be discussing in the topic today this topic is going to be extremely interesting and useful for you so i would request you to see the topic till the end the people who are new to my channel i would request them to subscribe to my channel as this gives us a lot of inspiration and motivation to continue the good work as we are doing now coming back to the topic my topic for today's discussion is is a lot of times it happens that you do an angiography and there is a blockage uh, around 70 to 80% or 90% on the table the doctor advises you that uh, it's better that you undergo an angioplasty and if at all you agree to do an angioplasty you uh, get the angioplasty done there and then but sometimes it becomes an issue with the patients that uh, uh, it becomes very problematic for the patient that they cannot decide in such a short time whether they want to get the angioplasty done or not sometimes they take several hours to decide sometimes few days to decide and if at all the doctors tell them to get the angioplasty done and uh, people tend to feel that they are being blackmailed by the doctor uh, that they should they get the angioplasty on table so this ta- is taken usually by the patient in the wrong sense so this ad hoc angioplasty concept i'll be discussing why exactly does the doctor tell you to get the ad hoc angioplasty done what is the benefit to the patient what is the disadvantage to the patient these are the things which we'll be discussing in the topic today first of all what is angioplasty angioplasty is basically an extension of angiography procedure usually in an angiography what we do is that we put a sheath uh, or a cannula into the right radial or the right femoral artery and through this we pass a catheter into the heart uh, once we engage the heart we uh, inject some contrast into the catheter and this fills the vessel and we get a image of the uh, opacified vessel on the machine if at all we have to plan an angiography and we get a blockage on the uh, angiography the doctor uh, explains the detail of the angiography to the patient and uh, asks them whether they want to get the angioplasty done uh, on the table if at all the patient and the relatives agree then after taking the due consent and explaining the risk to them the doctor passes another catheter into the uh, coronary vessel which is known as the guide catheter which is slightly wider in diameter as compared to the diagnostic catheter from this catheter the cardiologist passes a wire into uh, the coronary vessel which is known as the uh, coronary or the ptc uh, wire guide wire and over this a balloon is passed into the vessel and then a stent is passed over this wire and thereafter the balloon and the wire are pulled out and the stent remains inside the vessel so basically angioplasty is just a extension of an angiography so as far as convenience point of view it is much more convenient for the cardiologist to do the angioplasty there and then on the table because the cannula is already there through which the catheter has to be passed and everything is ready the patient is on the table all the materials and everything are ready to for the angioplasty to be done usually the angiography routinely takes around 5 to 10 minutes angioplasty takes around 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes so for the doctor's point of view it becomes very convenient that if at all the patient agrees uh, there and then then they can straight away go ahead and perform the angioplasty and bring the patient out uh, if at all the patient takes time or uh, uh, the patient does not agree then they remove the sheath or the cannula and uh, put a plaster over the area and then shift the patient suppose the patient agrees that he wants to get an angioplasty done after 2 hours or 3 hours or 6 hours then or maybe several days then the doctor has to again puncture the vessel again put the cannula into the vessel and then do the angioplasty procedure convenience point of view it is inconvenient for the doctor as well as for the patient because uh, for the doctor is it inconvenient because the area once an angioplasty or angiography is done slight swelling or redness can be there in the area for uh, the patient can be painful and for the doctor it is inconvenient to puncture the same area again because uh, to puncture the same area the it becomes slightly more technically difficult and if at all the area is swollen or the pulse volume is slightly low then the getting the puncture the second time becomes difficult so if at all the patient was ready in the first instance and the angioplasty is done there and then for the doctor it is much more convenient uh, to do the angioplasty because again repuncture and re, again passing the cannula and sheath through the same artery is not to be done 
for the patient it is convenient that he doesn't have to bear the pain of the puncture once more the cannula and the sheath is not again put the chances of infection and complication are reduced and of course it is true that every time we pass a sheath or cannula into the arm some damage to the radial artery or the femoral artery does occur so every time a puncture is done or a sheath is passed some damage does occur to the vessel so uh, for the patient and the doctor both it is convenient to do the angioplasty on the same setting but suppose if the relatives are not ready and uh, they cannot take a decision in the same setting then they can of course take a take their time because for a routine angioplasty the performance of an a routine angiography the performance of an angioplasty is not compulsory it is usually optional if the relatives agree and for convenience sake they want to do it then the doctor obliges and performs it on the table but if at all they don't agree they can take the time and uh do it after a few days also that is acceptable in a heart attack situation when the vessel is 100% occluded and the blood supply and the oxygen supply to the tissue is already stopped uh the cells are starving because of the lack of oxygen and glucose at that point of time an emergency angioplasty becomes absolutely compulsory and the doctor cannot give you time because studies have shown that for every 30 minutes of delay in performance of an angioplasty in such a setting the mortality or the chances of the patient to die increase by around 7.5% for every 30 minutes of delay in performance of the procedure so suppose if you are taking 2 hours to decide that angioplasty has to be done then in that due course of time some 25 to 30% additional mortality rate will be increased because till that point of time a lot large amount of tissue or the area will be already dead by that time and whatever area is already dead cannot be recovered by any means medical science uh, no medicine is available to recover the area which is already dead so the doctor will always insist to you that you get the angioplasty done as early as possible in a heart attack setting because in this setting the it is uh, life saving for the patient that the angioplasty is done immediately if at that point of time patient says or the relative say that i cannot take a decision i have to take some time i have to take, uh, spend one or two days to decide or maybe 6 hours to 8 hours to decide then it becomes a nuisance for the doctors because uh, the even if the angioplasty is done after 1 to 2 days the benefit which the angioplasty can give in such a scenario will be very much reduced because by that time the tissue will be completely dead and the results of angioplasty will be a lot more inferior the hard work which the doctor has to do to open the vessel will be increased and the results will be a lot bad the chances of the patient dying on the table or after the procedure is also increased so for a doctor it becomes a nuisance that if at all the relatives don't agree and agree after one day or two days then the chances of the patient dying increase by several folds because uh, by 12 hours after a heart attack the tissue becomes completely dead and if an angioplasty if it is done after 12 hours the benefit of the patient uh, with the angioplasty is much lesser as compared to an angioplasty which is done within the first 2 to 3 hours of a heart attack so that is why uh, in a heart attack setting the doctor will always try to uh, maybe tell you explain the finds findings because uh, people tend to presume that this uh, mortality risk or the death risk which the doctor is explaining to you that is blackmailing and that is uh, fear mongering but actually this is the fact because this is the 7.5 mortality percent mortality data which i am saying this is not uh something which is cooked by the doctor or decided by the doctor it is the international data which is available this was an article published uh, several years ago in a very in a journal that uh, the mortality increases 7.5% for every 30 minutes of delay so the doctor by default has to compel you because he has to save the patient if he does an angioplasty after 2 days and the patient dies the reputation and the name of the doctor will be spoiled you will be ending up paying the same amount of money but or maybe even more amount of money but the patient will not come in hand and the the chances of the patient dying after the angioplasty will be much more the chances of the recovery of the heart myocardium after the angioplasty will be much lesser so in this setting it is always essential for the doctor to tell you and explain the details to you and it is your responsibility to take an emergency call and do the angioplasty for routine elective angioplasties where there is no heart attack usually there is not compulsory to do an emergency angioplasty and you can take your time although the doctors tell you that they cannot keep the sheath in the arm for more than 1 hour so you better take a decision within 1 hour and if at all you do agree then they will do the angioplasty within 1 hour if you don't agree then they will pull out the sheath and after that the angioplasty may you may do it after 3 to 4 days although it will be inconvenient for the doctor and the patient to do it but they can give you time and you can take a uh, well informed decision to do an angioplasty or not in a heart attack setting when the vessel is 100% occluded then it becomes an emergency for the doctor also and for the patient also to take a call and do the procedure as early as possible in this scenario emergency angioplasty after an angiography is absolutely compulsory and the doctor cannot give you time because his reputation is at stake 
and the life of the patient both are at stake so if at this point of time doctor does not explain the things properly to you he is doing injustice to your patient and the chances of the your patient dying becomes several fold higher so it is extremely important for the doctor to do an emergency angioplasty in this scenario and this is why uh, in this scenario an ad hoc angioplasty is almost compulsory for a routine angioplasty you can take your time and take a call and you can do it after a few days that should usually not is not compulsory although for from convenience point of view for the patient and for the doctor it will be convenient uh, to do the same uh, procedure at the same point of time for the relatives also it is convenient that uh, it might be slightly more cost effective also and uh, again readmission for the patient and uh, again uh, coming back to the hospital after 3 to 4 days does not become compulsory in this scenario in borderline cases patient can take their time and decide after few weeks also whether they want to get an angioplasty done depending on the symptoms or not but in this case ad hoc angioplasty is not compulsory in a heart attack setting it is compulsory so the moral of the story is If at all your patient has come to the hospital in a heart attack, then ad hoc angioplasty is compulsory. If it is not a heart attack and it is not a hundred percent blockage, it is a sixty, seventy, eighty percent blockage, then you can take a time. Emergency angioplasty is more convenient but not compulsory. Uh, the purpose of this topic is I wish to make uh, why exactly and what exactly are the reasons that doctor tells you that uh, emergency angioplasty is essential in a heart attack patient. and what are the settings where you should oblige to the doctor and agree to performance of an emergency angioplasty just after an angiography and what are the settings where you can exactly uh, take a few days time and then take a call whether you want to get an angioplasty done or not the purpose of my channel is that i wish to make scientifically correct and useful information easily available to you so that you can uh, understand the topic better and understand the concept better take an informed call and take an informed decision to manage your patients If at all you like the concept of my channel, I would request you to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and if you all you feel that the uh, videos are useful for your friends and relatives, you could share the link of the videos with your friends. And if you have some doubts and queries, or you have uh, some other topics for us which you feel that we should take up in future, then you can discuss about these topics with us, and we'll be happy to take up these topics in our future videos. So this is Dr. Navin Agrawal, and I am signing off with a big thanks to you that li- you have listened to my topic till then, and I hope that the content was useful to you for you. The people who are new to my channel, I would request them to subscribe to my channel as it would give us a lot of inspiration and motivation to continue the good work as we are doing now.